long day. I might, like, I was considering heavily, like, finding a gas station, getting an energy drink. I was like, I'm exactly. going to be up till 2 in the morning if, if you're, I do If that, you're a like, stream runner, drink what you need to drink to keep yourself going, man. That's a different story. If, if you're a normal person, man, make sure you, actually, no matter what you do, make sure you always have water. Water is important. Alright, so it's going to be Violet versus T or versus Richter, excuse me. And immediately they're synonymous, I feel like T3 Dom and Richter. Yeah, yeah, they are. I feel like Richter is a part of T3 Dom. Alright, Leo looking for the DI the wrong DI there, goes for the up air, doesn't find it. The back air was the correct option. Yeah, I mean this is the duel of the distance demons right here. <laughs> Most definitely. One was DLC and the other one came with the base game. I parry into the jab. I like it. I mean, you can go for like an up B there, but you know who knows if it's fast enough because even out of the parry, there's sometimes you just can't get it out fast enough. Exactly. And the other thing is like, there's not enough. It, you're at a hundred percent. You can't realistically combo anything aside from hoping I get a read. Yeah. Or a bad DI. Instead, going for the jab to get some guaranteed damage. That was excellent for play from Leo because he saw how Dom was looking to push him with the run in. So he went for a spot dodge to immediately punish Dom afterwards. While he caught this man jumping, no up, no up special up there, but that was still well played from Leo. Just to kind of reset the neutral. My foot though, good DI from Leo, but I mean, with all the rage on Dom, that was almost enough anyways. Uh, going for roll. Roll was looking to be the initial, the, the right answer. There was no cross in play, no down smash commitment. So at worst, Leo took another point, look, took a grab to reset himself at the ledge. And when you're Bioth, you have the best tether in the game. Being at the ledge isn't too bad. Save that jump. I like that. I, I like that. You are so good at calling out how Leo's going to stall that out. I, I like to imagine Leo's just like going out there, recovering as deep as possible just to taunt Richter. Like, you wish you had this tether. <laughs> I have to agree with that, man. But at that time, you know what? TG's got that kill throw with that forward throw. I wouldn't even call it a kill throw. That's just being a high percent. No, nah, it's definitely... I, it makes no sense why forward throws the kill throw on this character. Like, of course you're going to be able to get forward throws. Yeah. Okay, but the up air, going to be able to take the stock away from T3 Dom. But, you know, Dom's still in a pretty commanding position. It's rough to get off ledge when you're, like, mobile character. How do you do it when you're an immobile character? Exactly. All right, well, Leo able to get that tech chase immediately with that grab and that fake out with the up special tether. Oh, Leo has turning no up the shot. No shot! Jesus! No shot indeed, man. There was no shot in hell. Dom was going to be able to adapt to that one, and Leo just took this man around the entire stage. Never forget, man, Leo is always oh, at least one extra step ahead of you. All right, Leo showing no signs of panicking. I like that. He took the he takes the opportunity here to get away from the ledge. All right, Dom looking to set himself up nicely, uh, trying to stop Leo before the chance to recover. And like we're seeing a lot of times, he just knows how his character moves so well that Leo's able to just kind of drift around the projectiles. <laughs> You know, not panic, recognize, okay, I can still recover if I just drift backwards here and don't get hit by the axe. You gotta give Leo, and now you gotta give Shaq some credit, man, because Dom is able to keep up game one this close with Leo. He's got a stock lead. I can definitely tell you, man, Shaq had a lot to fight for last game. I saw the frustration. I can see how Dom is able to show Leo what he's got. Oh, just a bit misspaced, and that could be everything here for... Uh, Leo. Oh, that could be it. definitely everything. But Dom able to wait that out with a down to, down air into the conversion of the forward air. Great opportunity to cause him to hold the shield. Goes for the forward throw. Dom once again sets himself up here to keep Leo at that corner. All right, Leo just not able to find a way off of the ledge here. Tries to jump, gets forward airs. Does neutral see, get up, gets out. Did axe. you see everything that went through the ledge? That back air, like everything went through ledge. The cross went to the ledge, the holy water, the axe, and all angles that Leo would have loved to have been originally, but Dom had covered. Man. All right. Okay, so Dom up one game already in this first set of grands. Do you think we have a reset on our hands, potentially? This is going to be interesting, too, because Leo had did a really good job in terms of using his tech skill as Violet to dish out the damage. 
and dish out the opportunities to punish Dom in those opportunities. We saw signs of that in game one. If Lil is able to call out Dom with any opportunity, like things like down tilt or up air or a jungle situation, then Lil will be able to take that to the forefront and even get a stop like we saw. The thing here is that Dom is no easy person to catch, man. He is one person who's happy to set the world against you. Okay, and that's a move I feel like we didn't see at all in the last game is the side B there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a very laggy move. It's incredibly safe on shield after the patch. But on whiff, it's one of the laggiest moves in the game. Yeah, it's dominantly used to definitely get wreathed on your opponent's landings. Oh. Dom unfortunately caught out in the middle of that one here. Leo missing the downer, but having time for the back air. All right, get that tech chase. Leo gets the grab here, sets himself up at the ledge. I like that ankle force. I'm actually going to catch Dom going for a jump after that commitment. I love the arrow as a little tech chase. If you go for any tech option there, you get hit by the arrow. Just the way it's timed is perfect as a tech chase. Dom recognizes it, though. Goes for just a... Oh, no. Goes for just a neutral grab, but he jumps at disadvantage there, and Leo predicted it two games ago, apparently. <gasps> Great empty hopping, too, because you can see the tech chase opportunities. Like I said, if Leo is able to get any hits in on Dom and that tech skill we saw with Byleth and take that all the way through, he is definitely showing what he can do against Dom. Watching this game makes me really glad we didn't make predictions after game one. <laughs> right? It's like it's so hard because there's a lot that we saw from game one and can Leo do properly, and a lot that we see in Dom do not only against Chad, but bring that to Leo. Leo has a three-stock lead. He saves that jump to go for that another opportunity at the, le at the tether. What a change of a recovery. Don't never forget, that tether can also crap tether itself to the stage itself and give Byleth an extra layer of recovery. And Leo is able to use that, able to cancel off the arrow and then immediately get back to the ledge. Leo is looking to try to hold on to the stock as much as possible. Okay, there's the Nair actually crosses up which way it's going to send. Leo looked to go forward. Down the And the uh, side just going to off the top, and that's a three stock for Leo. Man, he was looking to keep that lead as much as possible. The, the SoCal claps are quiet, but I'm telling you right now, that was impressive. That that was a different player. That was game a different one player. Game one and two. Talk about adaptation, man. That was a whole new Leo. Like, Leo handed me the sticks under the table. Okay, so yeah, I hear you play better a little bit. You want to try it? Yeah lost game one and <laughs> I gave it back to Leo. Gave Big Brother the controller back. Exactly. Oh, man. And that was all good too because that's what, like you said, he started to use side special but he uses side special to cover his opponents in that whiff punish range and I looked at, and also cover his landing too. Yeah, it, the thing is it also hits under the platform. It goes up through the platform and that's what makes it really good on Battlefield specifically mm -hmm. is that you're able to trap landings like that at a much safer position. Yeah, and that safer position it just holds so much reward, especially for a character like Violet being at center stage. Any character that is considered, quote unquote, the distance demon, if you can have a move that holds center stage at the same time, man, use that to your best abilities. Tech chase here to go for that back throw here, set Dom right back towards the ledge. I like that narrow at the ledge also just because it could potentially call out the spot dodge. Dash, oh, no dash tech. Right, dash attack from Dom there, just gonna put Leo onto the stage, but it looked like Dom expected some sort of like air dodge to the ground, maybe something, or maybe it's just for positioning, he was able to get the back air after. I like that too, not gonna be enough, of course, the ceiling if Town in City is a little bit higher. Ah, right, yeah, way too high percent to follow up after that uh, down air. All right, forward air, just gonna force Dom off stage. He is able to make it back thanks to a high recovery from the platform, but such good positioning. And the thing is, did you notice where he got upbeat? If you DI that into Byleth, you go actually out, but you can go off stage and die. So instead he DI's away, which is DI in technically. It's you have to it's like, kind of confusing because yeah, it like crosses yeah, up your yeah, DI. Yeah, it does. But you DI it like that, and you just go, you bounce off the ground and go right above Leo, who's already buffered the up air just in case. Oh my god, what a reset! And the oh cross on the platform! 
Leo is telling Dom, let me show you a thing or two about a thing or two with Barlow. Like that, he evaluates the option there with the cross and then immediately goes back towards center stretch, tries to get this back air. Like that. All right, good tech roll in from Dom. That's the one option the run up down tilt was not going to oh, cover. Oh, and the way that that dash attack just sends you on such a rough distance, too. What a play. Yeah. yeah. He has enough nowhere time. Nowhere to go. Yeah, nowhere to go. Covers that entire left side of the stage. And you have the best tether in recovery to get back on the game. Why not? Nice. Tether cancel immediately into that platform. This changes Leo's recovery ability to get away from Holy Water. This is going to be a back air. Nice. But a I really opportunity. thought that was going to work. It was close. And Leo able to show how close it was. He gets that down tilt. Catches the landing with a dash attack. Dom has nowhere left to land. Leo is covering all the options. All right. Leo went for a double jump here. No, there's, unfortunately, Dom was able to catch that with a dash attack. So they gave no Leo no mix up. Oh. Nice, so excellent. Into the up air, into the up air. What a play. And that came all from the that MP hop, changing the opportunity here against Dom. Leo up 2-1. I'm glad we never made that bet of who would get the reset. I, I <laughs> thought for sure the way Dom was playing game one, we'd see like a reset, a switch off of the Bylet. Nah, nah. Leo is all, all, all over him with the by, or with the, yeah, the Byleth right now. Yeah. All right, here we'll set point here for MK Leo. Dom has so much against him, and he essentially has to win five games. Leo on the tournament win. Back to Town and City. Of course, having that extra height of a blaster will help out Dom in the long run here. But he's gotta watch himself with those recoveries. Leo has been catching that all set long. Yeah, and the thing about Byleth is, you know, this is a character with an amazing recovery. They can just go out there and fight you sometimes. Yeah, and we saw how he was able to just go out there and fight him. Using that side special. All right, Leo with no panic, able to use the, the, the roll as soon as possible before the Holy Water lands. All right, tries for down throw into back air, but way too high. Uh, Dom just able to get, his, uh, get around that. That was a really interesting interaction out there with the Holy Water throw and Leo just having to respect it. Neutral gap into the Holy Water, that gets you a forward smash to the face. All right, that forward air able to hit Dom off the stage. I like that use of side special here. There's the up air in the middle of getting the landing on the ledge. All right, Leo, no panic. Nice, good patience there. And he tries to pick the right option there, but Dom plays in a little bit of the aggressive side, seeing as how Leo was on the ledge. Oh, oh, he snipes the jump. Sniping the jump in the nick of time. And Leo has been good with that jump, too. He'll save that jump to go for another up special attempt. All right, back throw, dash attack to cover that one. I have not seen that yet, but Leo, like I said, to be one of the best players in the world, you have to bring out all the stops against your opponents. Got Dom off the stage. No forward air here, but Dom able to get that angled aerial. Oh, he thought the for or the nair was sending the other way. Honestly, would have been a huge momentum shift if Leo was able to get nair into forward smash at the ledge there. Definitely would have killed, but unfortunately for him, Dom goes back to center stage right where he wants to be under that platform. Up there, nice play there. Seeing as how the bounce is going to happen from down here. Leo was so patient at that ledge, not bulge, but not budging at all for even just a second, knowing as he's waiting for Dom to toss out all his utility and then finally make a move. Up air, nice. Oh, excellent use of up special too, just to still stay on the ground at the same time. Back air. Dom just barely missing on that. Could have been huge for him, but not quite. And now he's the one on the ledge. Air dodges through, down th tilt into the upper. This is a one stock game. Leo going low, oh. Dom, that's the first time he's missed up smash all night. Uh, just to show how Leo's prowess as a player, he's looking to slowly make this comeback. Yeah, I think that's starting to show just a little bit of the desperation that Dom has in him. You know, we see him going for that only in the most important clutch moments, and it's always worked out for him. And, you know, he needed that to be one of them, it felt and like. The, and the, 
What a, yeah, okay, okay. Good patience, too, because he waited to see how Damo's going to react. That's yep. it. That's it. That is yeah, it. That is it. Ladies and, and gentlemen, MK Leo wins MSM. Yeah, I mean, Dom played incredibly, though. Yeah. You know, but it's MK Leo. Yeah. I, I know we're so used to this, this like, this specific phrase, but, like, I love the way that Dom waited, used his 